what is true feminine surrender? But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. What is true feminine surrender? I want to read you a passage from the book I just got from Barnes & Noble. It's called Self-Care, How to Live Mindfully and Look After Yourself. I always talk to my daughter about doing what she needs to do to make herself feel comfortable wherever she is, whether she's at school or she's at home, always doing things to make herself feel comfortable. So let me, leave, let me read you this passage real quick. It says, surrender to what is, let go of what was, have faith in what will be. To me, that one passage speaks volumes because it shows us as women that we have to truly surrender our lives over for me to God and trust what will be. As feminine women, a lot of leaning into our femininity is relinquishing control over our lives. While we are still very much the managers of our lives, we do not feel like we have to have our every single plan and move orchestrated. A lot of femininity is just flow. It's just allowing your life to kind of flow, allowing yourself to just kind of flow and be the way you need to be in the moment. A lot of femininity is just being in the moment. And I know for many of us, and I'm speaking for myself, in the very beginning of my feminine journey, that was very hard because I was very much a person who needed to have every I, every I dotted and every T crossed. I needed to know every detail of everything right now and then even into the future. I try to have my life planned out for the next two to three years in advance. And as we all know, life does not work that way. Things happen the way they happen. And while we very much, we do have control over our lives to the extent that the choices we make today can, you know, they can actually project our future, but we are very much women who live in today. And if you are not fully surrendered, if you are not fully in your faith, if you are not that divine feminine woman trusting God with your life, you will always feel like you need to be in control. You need to have answers. You need to know what's happening and what's going to happen in any moment. And life is just not that way. So being in feminine surrender is truly understanding that you'll be okay enjoy the moment. You have to be in the moment. Do what you know to do in this very moment. Enjoy this life that you have right now. Feminine women know how to enjoy the moment, know how to embrace the people and nurture the people that they have around them right now, because life is not always going to be the way it is at that very moment. You only get that moment. We love our time. We love to just be in the moment because that's all you have control over in that moment is the moment you don't know you know when you walk out your door you don't know what will happen but you know that while you're sitting here speaking with your family enjoying their company you can make it the best time that you have had with them in a long time but if you constantly are focused on the future so much so that you're not enjoying the moment that's when life becomes a drag so being in feminine surrender is being in the moment. And then it's also enjoying what you have and not always looking for it to more. While I do speak about, you know, we always have our mindset on, you know, being better and self-development and, you know, we want more for our lives. We have a standard. For me, and the way I see it, is that God will bless you with more when you enjoy what you have at the moment, when you are content with where you are in the moment. If you're never content with what you have in the moment, getting more is not going to make you happy. If you don't love and care for and take care of the home you have now, if you leave that home dirty, if you leave your, your dishes dirty and your, your surroundings are blah, when you get more, you're not going to enjoy that. So being content and enjoying what you have and making the most of it and making it the best that it can be, that is another way to just be in that feminine surrender you know, really caring for the things that you have around you, you know, taking care of yourself and your body. Many women don't feel good about themselves unless they're at a certain weight. And I used to be that kind of woman that, you know, if I gained some weight, I would build, feel like, you know, okay, I'll feel a lot better once I lose this weight. And as true as that might be, 
even with the weight on me, I have to treat myself as a woman who is at the weight that I want to be. So even though I was 10 or 15 pounds overweight, I started eating more clean. I started working out, moving my body a little bit more. I started researching, you know, different diets and, you know, the benefits of different vitamins and minerals. When I started doing things like that and started changing my mind first before my actual situation, but before my weight actually changed, my mind shut, my mindset changed. That's when I became more content and the weight just started falling off. Because I wasn't so hyper focused on, I got to lose this weight. I got to do this. I got to do that. I just made a lifestyle change and started moving as the woman that I wanted to become. So when you actually, once again, you know, being in the feminine surrender is embracing what you have and not being in such of a rush to get to the next level. It's like truly enjoying the journey. Like for me, you know, having a business and, you know, working for myself and, you know, I love that. But it's been very small steps that have been happening while I'm still doing my everyday life. Now, if I was just focused on the fact that this process is slower than what I thought it was going to be, I needed to move faster, I will not enjoy my life if all I do is focus on what I want to be. But if I actually enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, if I actually you know, embrace that and relish in that, when I do get to that next level, I can look back and say, you know, I was here and now I'm here. Many of us don't take time to really see how far we have come. And being in that feminine surrender mode is looking at your life now, even though in your eyes, it might not be the greatest, but I can guarantee you for someone else, what you don't see as being great, they wish they were in your shoes. They wish they had a husband that would annoy them. They wish they had somebody to come home to. They wish they had children to nurture and care for. You know, you complain about having to go school shopping or whatever you have to do. But there's some woman out there who wish she had children to go school shopping for. You know, I just say that to say that you really have to take time. And a lot of being in your feminine, leaning into your femininity and being surrendered to your feminine energy is being a woman who truly is thankful and grateful for her life. Embrace your blessings. You know, being happy. And once again, like I was initially saying, look at your life now compared to the way it was five years ago, three years ago, even look two months ago. Some of us, the very things that we prayed for, the very things that we've been meditating on and thinking about and the goals we've been writing down, a lot of those things are coming to fruition, but we don't stop long enough to actually see the change, see that I'm not the same woman, the way I used to act, the way I used to talk. I'm not the same type of person. When you are surrendered to your femininity, when you truly are in the moment, when you truly allow God to shift your focus, you can look at your life with gratefulness and gratitude and thankfulness because you see how far you've come. You're not the same girl. You, you, you begin to see that when you take time to just stop. So as feminine women, being truly surrendered to your femininity, to your life, is relinquishing control being content while you move on to more and enjoying your journey, enjoying the moment, being a woman who knows how to just stop and embrace where she is right now in that moment and enjoy it. Not always fighting, trying to get to the next step, to the next level. And I know it can be hard, but as feminine women, your life will be much easier, not easier in the sense where things won't come along, challenges won't come along, but your life will flow a lot more smoothly when you take time to enjoy it and be thankful for where you are in this very moment. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.